If your info tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new show of drawing a blank. So I've really been wanting to do some several week long themed drawing a blanks, like monthly challenges or topic themed discussions and stuff like that. And since February is right around the corner, I've decided to finally give it a go. Welcome everyone to Shipuary. Or OTPuary? February? Something punny to combine with the concept of shipping characters in the month of February like a ship name. I don't know, y'all might have to help me out on that one. But regardless of silly names, yes, I've decided that this month I'm going to get a little lovey-dovey and share with you all some of my absolute favorite fictional ships. These are pairings of characters that make me want to cry, die, and scream with happiness all at the same time. The world of shipping can be a messy place, I know, so please try to keep the comments civil. We're just here to have fun. That being said, I am going to be dishing out my honest opinions on ships, but please know while I might be a bit hyperbolic here for the sake of getting a point across, you are free to enjoy whatever ships you like, even if your tastes don't match up with mine. So, with that being said, Tall Jake is the best warrior ship, and if you don't agree with me, then your opinion is invalid. <laughs> okay, okay, jokes aside, I do really, really love Tall Jake. I wouldn't have made my review of Tall Star's Revenge as extra as it was if I didn't. Tallstar's Revenge really invigorated my love of warriors, and I still get a little emotional when I think about these two. The Urns just really hit it out of the park with that one. I've fallen in and out of love with a lot of warriors couples in the past. As a teen reading these books, I remember liking a lot of the relationships all right. The tragic ones were usually some of my faves, like Blue Star and Oak Heart, Crow Feather, Feathertail, Leaf Pool, and of course, Graystripe and Silverstream. But those couples have really kind of soured on me over the years. There's nothing wrong with a good tragic romance every once in a while, but unfortunately most of the reason I liked these relationships to begin with was because I was sad that the character I loved had to go through that rather than liking the relationship itself. Which doesn't really say much about the relationship. There's unfortunately not a lot of chemistry between these pairs, and you don't really get a sense of why they like each other all that much. To be fair though, even in the non-tragic warrior couples, chemistry is hard to find. <laughs> Sometimes couples you barely see end up being some of my favorites in the series just because I can apply my own headcanon for them, and I think a lot of other Warriors fans feel the same way. Brackenfur and, and Soiltail was always one of my faves because I just really enjoyed both background characters a lot and thought that they would be just so wholesome together. I think the Warriors couples I end up liking the most are ones where we just get to see the couple hanging out, making decisions together, and have sweet background cameos pop up from time to time. It's what makes Ravenpaw and Barley so good, and it's one reason I ended up liking Ivy Pool and Fern Song so much right away, just because the little background cameos with them were so sweet and casual. Tiger Heart Star and Dovewing have even grown on me quite a bit since Tiger Heart Shadow. We just get to see the two care about each other's well being. It's nice. It's surprisingly rare for warriors, but it's nice. What puts Tall Jake above all the others for me, however, is just how natural it comes off. The relationship also isn't the focus of the book, which is another reason I think Warriors relationships tend to flop. Making a relationship the focus of a Warriors book tends to lead to a lot of pining and angst and surprisingly fewer moments of the characters actually being together. No, this book is about Tall Tale's insecurities trying to figure out who he is, what he wants, and when his partner helps him realize what that is, it comes at the cost of having to say goodbye to the one person who really took time to be there for him. Even when he knows he wants to go home and return to his clan, Talltale knows he's leaving behind someone special that nobody could replace. They come from different lifestyles and cultures and want to return to them. And while learning from each other has helped them become better people, their convictions to those places has shaped who they are, and to give that up would be changing them back into a worse person, which 
neither once for the other. And yes, I cried when Talltale pleaded to Jake not to leave and had to straight up put the book down and have a little mini breakdown when Jake told Talltale that he would always be a warrior. Ugh, that's just some good wholesome tragedy, all right? I can't escape my roots. If you hit me with those sad feels just right, you got me, okay? So for this piece, I wanted to redraw that moment, specifically from my video about Tallstar's Revenge. I went back and rewatched the video for the first time in years. Whew, okay, it's a uh, it's hard rewatching old work of yours, but it did bring back a lot of my feelings from the time that I was making it. If I had infinite time, I would definitely remake that whole last scene from the book. I learned a lot doing that project and always wanted to give Hawkwing's journey the same treatment, but unfortunately just never really had time to. Either way, I'm still so happy I was able to complete a project like that, and it's fun to imagine how I would do it differently today. I hope you all are looking forward to this month of ships. I've been really excited to do some of these pieces. A big shout out to the fan artists of the week. We've got more Starkland Battles art from Tosofsky, who did some great sketches of the leaders. Whiskerheart did a bunch of cute portraits of some of their favorite YouTubers. Thank you, I'm honored. And Virtues is back again, killing it with these Clouded Moon mini comics. This time, Brother and Wolfthorn. Love it. Thank you so much, everyone. Remember to appreciate your loved ones and stay inspired.